Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and or welcome back to my channel. I am on here today to finally do my Q&A. So, yay! Uh, for you ladies, I pretty much did this for you ladies or um, the pretty much anybody that doesn't know who I am who wants to know a little bit more about me and possibly subscribe to my channel for that reason. Um, so, I don't want to make this a hugely long video. <laughs> so, let's get right into it because I know I can babble on. So, okay, so our first set of questions came, I have, I'm looking at my phone, sorry, came from Alicia Sears. And she had three questions. And the first question is, what is my favorite makeup look? Now... It's been fluctuating, um, but pretty much my favorite makeup look, like even in uh, summer, it doesn't matter what time it is, I pretty much use my white NYX all over the lid, and then I use like a, a burgundy or like a purpley look in the crease, um, and then I just blend that out. Um, or just a uh, brown. Like, I've been, uh, this one, knock on wood, I've bought this three times. I love this palette. Um, <laughs> this is strange, but I love this palette. That's how ridiculous that is. Um, and that's my Wet n Wild, if anybody wanted to know. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. Th th those are, and they're super quick, super easy, so, uh, that's what I pretty much go to. Um, next is, I'm going to play with this. <laughs> next is how many kids? So right now, uh, I have two, I have two girls. Uh, one is two years old and the other one is about to be two months old. Um, and we want more. Me and my husband want more. Of course he wants a boy. Of course he wants a boy. Uh, so I, I think three total but it might be four, so we'll see how it goes. But we're definitely going to be splitting uh, this kid that I just had or this baby that I just had to the next child. We're going to split it between a couple of years um, because we did not plan for them to be so close right now. Um, I know it'll be okay in the future because they'll be two years apart. They'll love each other. They'll be okay. But I'm going crazy. So, anyway... Um, yeah, so, so two girls right now, but then we definitely want uh, a boy, um, so either three or four kids. We'll see. Anyway, uh, what is my favorite makeup brand? Now, that's really, that's really a toughie, because there's two. There's two. Like, hardcore two that I just automatically reach for. I automatically buy, like, almost every part of it. Um, is Wet n Wild and NYX. Um, I have so many Wet n Wild and NYX products that I'm just looking over here right now. I'm, I'm yeah, I have their brushes. I have uh, NYX jumbo pencils. I have NYX pour uh, uh, um, primer for the face. I have so many Wet n Wild uh, palettes over here. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing, uh, I'm going to say that NYX and Wet n Wild are my two top, top favorites. If I had to pick one, though, it would have to be Wet n Wild because they have a brush line now and they're in Dollar Tree. Hello. You cannot pass up things for a buck that work. So thank you, Alicia, for your questions. Um... Thank you for subscribing to me. It's fun to have new people um, that actually stick around. So, yay! All right, let's get into the next one. Oh, uh, Alicia, you also asked, uh, what inspired me to start a YouTube channel? Um, so I started a YouTube channel a couple of years ago. Um, I started it. I had my first video. Um, and then I kind of lost the feeling. Um, I wanted to start it because I, I want I, I liked doing it. I have the personality to do it. 
and I really want to show women that you can still look pretty with half the money. Like, <laughs> less than half the money. Like, more than less than half the money. You know what I mean? Like, ridiculous amount of less than half the money. Um, and I really... So that's how I started. That's how, that's how I started. But a few years ago, when I actually started, I lost a little bit of my feeling um, when I had my miscarriage. Um, it's, it's, it's a long process, but I didn't feel pretty. I felt pretty depressed. Uh, there was times where I just didn't care. Um, I didn't want to even look at YouTube videos in general. Um, so just that took almost a year. And then I, uh, it, by in the middle of that, after the miscarriage, then I went through crazy family times. I went through, not with my husband or anything, just, just family in general. Uh, we had to move then we had to move again. So yeah, just crazy. Um, then I started uh, really wanting to get back into it. Um, I found out I was pregnant, so I wanted to make some pregnancy vlogs uh, while I was with pregnant with my first one. And then I started making YouTube, and then I started making makeup videos again. Started getting there, started getting there, and then I found some channels that I really clung to um, and I was just like look if they can do it I can do it again so my love for it came back so I, I would say it's, well it, it's pretty much my way of being able to relax and do what I want to do when I'm a stay-at-home mom so that's kind of what inspired me. And especially since I started back, that's kind of what inspired me. So, okay. And then I'm going to butcher your name. Um, but it is Gabsors. Gabsar? Gabsar. I want to say that. Uh, you asked two questions. Um, what camera do I use? And I use right now a Samsung HD... Um, what is this? Wi-Fi capable. I'm looking at my camera right now. <laughs> it's a, uh, crap. What is this camera? Hold on. Okay. Uh, my camera is a Samsung HD Wi-Fi capability ST150. Um, the reason why I got it is because of the Wi-Fi. Um, I can upload using my phone. I turn my uh, hotspot on on my phone and I can change the or I can get the video off my camera onto my phone or onto my computer with just using Wi-Fi. It's awesome but it is a little older. Um, I definitely am looking into getting a new one um, because there's a little scratch on my lens and it bugs me. So, it's like, I've had this thing for like, I don't know, four years. So, I think it's time to get a new one. Maybe for Christmas. Maybe my husband will take the hint. Ha! Huh? Anyway. <laughs> um, and then you also, and Jesse also asked me what I use to edit my videos. I use Movie Maker. So, I have a Windows on my computer, and I use Movie Maker. Um, it's pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can add music to your things. Um, I haven't quite got that part down yet because it won't allow me, like, it's just, every time I try to add music, it cuts it off and then it's stupid. So, I don't know. Hopefully I'll eventually figure it out. But it's pretty simple to, like, upload your videos, edit some certain parts, put in little notations, and then save it and then upload it to uh, YouTube. So it's pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, so thank you, uh, Gab Source for, uh, subscribing to me. Uh, it's awesome that you even asked me questions. So that's free. That's awesome because you really wanted to get to know me. So yay. Um, 
And then, of course, my lovely friend and awesome person, <laughs> Stacy Riles, who you've all heard me talk about probably 20 times so far. Um, she has really helped me get back on YouTube. Um, she was one of the YouTube channels that pretty much inspired me to come back because she had a two-year-old. I was like, look, she can do it. I can do it. And we just clicked. Like, I didn't even know we clicked. That's how much we clicked. Like, do we just... We have the same brain, I swear. Sometimes, I swear, we finish each other's sentences, we go to the store, or we wear the same shirt, and not even know we are an hour and a half away and still have yet met. As soon as we meet, trust me, we're gonna do some videos. Like, we're gonna probably do like four videos in one sitting, I swear. So, anyway, uh, she asked a few questions, and she asked the ones that are going to be long. So, let's. I'm not going to rabble. I'm not going to rabble. Think, Brittany, think. Okay, so where was I raised? Where was I born and where was I raised? So I was born in Boynton Beach, Florida. Um, small little town kind of outside of Boca, in between Boca, West Palm, and Miami. Yeah, I think it's right in between there. Um, it's pretty much where I was kind of raised, too. Um, in between Boynton, Delray, West Palm, that area. Uh, it's kind of a bundle between Delray Beach to um, kind of where I was raised and where, where home is, um, where a lot of my family still is. Um, yeah, that's, that, that's about it. There's not much questions. Uh, I went to middle school. I went to elementary school there. Um, I did not go to middle school there. I ended up going... Um, my mom and dad divorced when I was nine. Um, my brother was 13 and I did not, I was in fourth grade. So I ended up splitting my fourth grade year and moving up to Gainesville, Florida, um, where the Gators play. <laughs> not a Gator fan, trust me. Um, I, we ended up moving up there, me and my mom and my brother and... Uh, we had, I went to elementary, or I finished elementary school there, and then I started middle school there as well, um, and then I went to high school, is, is there, I graduated from Gainesville High School, um, so, I, that's, that's, I, so I'm, I'm a Florida girl, straight up, <laughs> um, there's, there's nothing else in me but Florida, but I hate the heat, which is funny because I can't stand it. I can't stand the heat. I can't stand being hot. I would love to move out of Florida, but right now I can't. I would love to be in snow climate. I would love to move to Alaska. That's ridiculous, I know, but that's how much I love the snow, and that's how much I love being cold. You can only take off so much before you're nude. Hello? It's hot. It's sticky. It's annoying. It's ugh. <laughs> And then you have to put on so much to be cold down here because it's a wet cold and not a dry cold like other places are. So, oh, just, I, I'd rather move out of Florida. But I can't write at this point, so that's where I will be. Um, how did my hubby meet? Uh, how did we meet? Um, I'm going to skip that question because that's the long one. Um, and go to her last question, uh, do I have any pets? Yes, I do. I have a dog. Uh, his name is Sergeant Major. I'll get into that. <laughs> his name is Sergeant Major. He's a full bun boxer, boxer, and he is will be five. Yeah, he'll be five by the time I post this video. So he will be five years old, which is like thirty-five in dog years. So he's getting there. Um, he's getting there on the age, but not horrible. So we're gonna get a puppy for him instead of having a new kid. We're going to get a puppy. That's how we're going to do it. <laughs> so, okay. So, how did we meet? Done, done, done. It's hilarious. Okay. So, while I was in Gainesville High School, I met a boy. And I ended up pretty much, pretty much high school sweethearts. Um, he ended up proposing on my 18th birthday. And... 
we were married when I was 19. Um, found out uh, a few months later. Um, well, uh, okay, so let me try to get so you can understand it totally. So, a uh, few months into our marriage, uh, we went to a bowling alley. And uh, it's technically called Splits Bowling Alley in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, when we went there, uh, I met my husband. And, well, I, I met this guy. <laughs> and uh, we were all, we were with a group of friends and we were going to laser tag. So I technically met him in a laser tag room in the middle of a bowling alley. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we, we played laser tag for hours. Um, and with this group of friends, then we went bowling, then we did some karaoke, and we ended up going back there a few times, and we ended up asking for his schedule because he was an awesome laser tag guy, so we ended up asking for his schedule, and we just kept going every time he worked, um, and we went w roughly with the same group of friends, so that, that went on for um, a couple of months, two or three months, and then... He ended up, uh, he ended up clicking with me, uh, becoming my friend, uh, closer, like we had a closer relationship, um, and, uh, we exchanged, everybody exchanged phone numbers so we could talk, and he was a down-home country boy, um, and he was like, look, um, I live with my mom, and I can't stand it anymore, um, so he needed a place. And me and my then husband uh, decided that we were going to let him move into our place. Um, we had a two bedroom and we just didn't need the second room. It was becoming a storage unit. So we let him rent out that second room. And yeah, we ended up having a housewarming party, I think, within that week of him moving in. Yeah, it was, in, it was at least within that week of him moving in. And he ended up going... Um, and mm, we had some drinks, of course. It was a housewarming party. We were pfft, nothing. Um, and he is older than me, so he bought the drinks, and so was my uh, then husband. My then husband was older than me too. So um, yes, it's not good. I don't condone that. Don't don't think I condone that. <laughs> um, but I ended up meeting him kind of then when it was really intimate and we were able to talk one-on-one -on -one, I ended up getting to know him I ended up finding out he had a daughter and um, all this other stuff I ended up like really getting to know him there um, when he was living with us um, so that housewarming party uh, Jeremy my now husband if you follow the story if you're following the story I promise it's gonna get easier um, Jeremy and my then husband, so my ex, Jeremy and my ex, ended up talking, and my ex was completely gone, like completely drunk, um, and he ended up showing him and telling him and actually texting her, uh, saying he was cheating on me, and has been for the entire relationship that we were in, so pretty much our entire high school, uh, so... Yeah, uh, Jeremy being my friend, uh, he kept it from me because he wasn't sure how I was going to take it, so he kept it from me for about a couple of weeks, and then he knew something was wrong um, with me because I was just like, look, I don't want to be around you anymore, or uh, around my ex anymore, I was just like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, and then all of a sudden... Jeremy ended up, I ended up picking him up at his work, and Jeremy ended up telling me that he was cheating on me, and I was like, really? Wow. And he was like, you're taking this extremely well. I said, I know, because I actually have a reason to leave him now. And he was like, what? So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how we met. <laughs> So my camera stopped. I saw the time uh, blinking. So I was like, oh crap, it's going to stop. So anyway, so when Jeremy ended up telling me that, I ended up filing for a divorce. And when uh, I ended up telling him that I was going to spend 
Um, well, I ended up asking him about it. And he lied straight to my face. And then about 30 minutes later, he told me the truth. So I knew that I knew he was lying, but then 30 minutes later, he actually told me the truth. And so I ended up telling him I was going to my mom's, went to my mom's, and then Jeremy ended up taking me out um, for like to, to get out because I needed to get out. So I think we just went to get something to eat. Not that big of a deal, but we all went, like my mom and his mom, we all just went and got something to eat. Well, when he got the divorce papers, that next, pretty much, I think it was a weekend, so that next Monday, um, he flipped out, um, and I went to go and get my stuff out of the house, and he decided he wanted to lock me in the room with him. Uh, he pretty much was standing in front of the door, not allowing me out, um, saying, you're not leaving. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. You're not leaving. So, yeah. Um, that's when all hell kind of broke loose. Excuse my French. All hell kind of broke loose. Um, Jeremy was outside. Uh, so was my mom. Um, I, what I did was I knew the last person I called was my mom. Uh, because I just got home from school. Uh, I was in college at this time. And I just pressed the call button on my phone in my pocket and um, I didn't have a touch screen phone by then I had just a regular simple dial uh, or uh, keypad phone so I hit the call button and it just hit my call uh, whoever I called last and my mom and he didn't even notice that I did it because it was in my pocket um, so they knew that something was wrong when I first didn't answer. Second, they actually heard him and I screaming at each other. Um, so Jeremy ended up deciding to knock down the door. Uh, yeah, he broke our door. Um, he, uh, my ex ended up locking the door, or locking our front door. Jeremy ended up breaking that down. And then he ran upstairs because we had a townhome. He ran upstairs and knocked down the bedroom door that I was locked in um, and he took me and the bags that I packed and got me out um, that was pretty much the, the point um, that I knew there was something good about him um, and because no not a lot of people would do that they would just call the cops they would just call the cops. No, he wanted to get me out right then and there. He he was afraid for me. Um, so the next day, the next morning actually, I filed for a restraining order. Um, later that day, uh, around um, like late, 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 later that day, um, two cops escorted me back to the house uh, where my ex was served. And he then freaked out even more. Uh, but there was cops there, so he couldn't do anything about it. But they let me in, and I got all my stuff out. Um, I was kind of rushed, though, so I left a lot of stuff. I left my Letterman jacket, uh, which I still miss to this day. I left a few things um, that were meaningful, um, that were underneath our stairs, in like that storage unit underneath your stairs. If you have a townhome, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, because the cops were rushing me um, and my ex freaking out outside was also rushing me because I didn't want to deal with it. I just wanted to go. Um, and then months went down the line and I was at a job that ended up, I ended up getting laid off from pretty much um, not my fault or anything like that. The store actually closed. I was the manager of it. It was awesome. I was actually the manager of Torrid. Uh, if any ladies know that clothing store, I love that clothing store. Um, I don't fit those clothes anymore, but I love that clothing store. Um, I was the manager there and they ended up telling us that the, clo the, the store in Gainesville was closing. And I was like, well, that sucks. So, um, that was another torment. Like, this is all just messing with my brain. Like, everything was just horrible. Um, and when I, when I lost my job, pretty much, um, I had nothing better to do. So, I, me and my mom went to karaoke 
every Wednesday and Friday night. Every Wednesday and Friday. Every single day. Like, every Wednesday and Friday. And Jeremy was there. Um... So, when I wasn't singing, I was hanging out with him, um, talking and getting to know each other, and my flirting was getting there. I had some deep connection with him, and I didn't even realize it. Um, I was 20 at this time, and I, I, I had no idea what I actually did with my ex because I was just like, what am I doing? I never actually, like, had feelings for this man. I just married him because he was the first guy that proposed to me. Like, I... I it was stupid. Like, I was the dumbest person. I even remember asking my maid of honor right before I walked down the aisle what I was doing. And she goes, what are you talking about? You're marrying him. And I said, I know, but what am I doing? Dude, are you kidding me? If you have second thoughts, don't. <laughs> it's just stupid. Um, so I went on and he ended up being there. And we ended up, I ended up dating other guys and dating things and um, kept talking to him. And he was like, look, that guy's not right for you. That guy's not right for you. That guy's not right for you. Um... Let's go hang out. That's pretty much what he did. He's like, that guy's not right for you. Let's go hang out. So that's what I did. And then uh, in 2010, uh, so another couple of months after our divorce was finalized, everything, uh, that was in a few months because we had no kids together. We had nothing. Um, so that took a few months and it was done. Um, but in like October time, no, I'm not. I'm not even going to share that. It's stupid. Um, my, Jeremy ended up beating my ex, um, up because he ended up violating his restraining order and tried to come towards me, um, while I was getting out of my car. So, Jeremy ended up protecting me again. <laughs> so, long story, but it was stupid. Um, so in December, uh... Jeremy ended up saying that he wanted to spend Christmas with me. And I said, oh, okay, all right. Well, I usually spend Christmas with my family. But my mom was like, go ahead, no problem. Um, so I ended up spending Christmas with him. We got each other Christmas presents. And he ended up telling me that day, uh, on Christmas in 2010, that he loved me. And I had no hesitation. I actually started bawling, crying and told him I loved him back. Uh, we weren't actually even dating at that time. We just said it, and then we became dating. Um, it was that strong of a relationship that we didn't need to even say what we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, and then that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to get into it that long. I know I already spoke way too much. Um, but now you really, really know me. <laughs> I've had some crazy past, ladies some crazy paths um and I I wouldn't change it um I love Jeremy more than anything um well parts because my girls have my heart too um and I wouldn't he gave me he's giving me kids that I will never I will never forget like never want to lose I love my girls uh he is an amazing father uh, he is an amazing help. Uh, he goes through crap at work. Uh, he is a welder. He burns himself. He cuts himself. He hits his head on steel. And he wouldn't change it because he wants me to be a stay-at-home mom. Um, well, not he doesn't want. we. I, I, I want to be a stay-at-home mom. And he doesn't want any... He doesn't want... He wants whatever I want. So, whatever I want, I get. Kind of. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So, anyway, I wouldn't change that. And he is amazing. Um, I wouldn't change my life. Now, there's some points and there's some things I wish. Um, in between my divorce, I wish my dad didn't die uh, suddenly. Uh, because that hurt. Uh, he never actually met Jeremy. Um, so... That kind of hurt. That kind of was horrible uh, for me. But Jeremy was there for me. He always was like, look, 
you, you can do this, you can do this, I know this hurts. Um, we got married almost five years ago in June. Um, and uh, we got married about two years after dating because I ended up finding out I was pregnant. Um, and then about a month after we got married, we ended up, uh, we just ended up going to the courthouse. And um, about a month after we uh, got married, I ended up having a miscarriage. Uh, that brought us closer. All the crazy crap that we've been through has brought us so close. You would think it would tear us apart. No, no, nothing nothing um so it's it's yeah it's it's pretty crazy my life is pretty crazy but not anymore it's it's awesome now i i wouldn't care at all what happens <laughs> um anyway holy crap it's um probably like midnight right now so i, I really gotta go to bed <laughs> i really gotta go to bed you would think i need to go to bed um so if you have any other questions um Comment down below. Comment down below if you have any other questions. I'm so sorry that this video was ridiculously long. Grab a drink and a snack. <laughs> and learn about my life. Or grab some Halloween candy because my daughter still has a bunch left. Grab some Halloween candy. Um, anyway, I hope you ladies did at least enjoy this video. Um, sorry again that it was extremely long. And I hope it wasn't boring. That's what I hope. I hope it wasn't boring. I hope you enjoyed my crazy life <laughs> that I had. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, if you're new to my channel and you have more questions, ask them. If you're a returning subscriber and you still have more questions, please ask them. I will do another one if I get any questions or anything like that later on down the line. Um, so yeah, I hope you ladies enjoyed and good night. If you're watching this at night, if you're not, have a good rest of your day.